this is Menopause Muse and today's topic is about menopause and how it affects everyone. I'm Helen Tite and I'm leading on this webinar today. I hope um, as we start to delve deeper into menopause we're starting to recognize this is less about menopause and it is about the life journey of a female. So when we bring into context uh, menopause and how it can affect everyone we start with things like relationships and that that is really important to understand that as a teenager going through puberty you're probably the opposite of that and you can see how relationships within your own family cohort network uh, can be affected but it does affect everybody. It is about the life journey. And if we can start to understand that menopause, let's say like everyone eye rolls and goes, oh God, they're talking about that again. Actually put it into context that every female born um, will go through this as part of their life journey. And there are things that we might expect that can change. Now, a lot of women, once they are understanding their hormones and their health, they can move on to thrive in their later life, which is fantastic. And that's what we want to happen. And that can be with the support of medication, HRT. It might be a medical intervention that they were suffering with pain prior to their menopause. But it's important to understand that relationships, let's start there, relationships um, is the big one. Uh, think about um, that not understanding how partners are feeling. It affects libido, so your contact, your touch time with your partner. That may have a, uh, a, a an underlying sense of feeling neglected. And actually, she might be dealing with pain and, and, and coming to terms with this aging body that she doesn't recognize. So... When we talk about relationships, it is her relationship with others, but how the world see her too. Um, and this comes back to previous videos that we've done around emotional intelligence um, and supporting other people and other women as they go through these changes. So let's put relationship in context with work. That is, a, a, you can see that if she is feeling left out or her mental health has been affected by her menopause you know she might feel that um, she's not being valued she doesn't feel supported in the workplace all of these things will um will play negatively on her health and, and it is important for us to understand that it really does affect everyone everyone in my household um will be affected by my fatigue so I can't be bothered to cook. I want to sleep on the sofa because I'm struggling with my fatigue. And consequently, the family go, oh, mum's not up for it today. So let's have takeaway, which ultimately is not always the right thing to do from a cost, from a health, from a nutrition point of view. Um, but it might be the bit that saves mum on that particular day. Relationships at work. Um, it might be that her change in health, uh, sometimes we don't like to look at our own futures, so it might affect those relationships on a real superficial level, but right the way through to making decisions because she's now tired, she is not showing up the way she had done previously, not without support. So if we can understand that she might need a bit more time or support or get in the right support within her working environment, we actually might work towards having a happier, more wonderful person. There's a piece here about medical interventions that suddenly you've gone from somebody who doesn't um, go to the GP ever um, unless it's for your family and then suddenly it feels like a constant back and forth to your GP to the point where you're thinking, they think I'm going mental. Um, I'm constantly phoning them because I've got vertigo and then something else. And, and actually, um, my pelvic health doesn't feel right or my period's too heavy. And suddenly you feel like a burden. 
So this, this bit around medical interventions is quite scary for a lot of people. And we're constantly being told about, um, um, you know, the NHS is overwhelmed, it's, it's overburdened, we need more support. We, we don't want to bother the NHS. So when you have like one symptom, but we're dealing with a collection of symptoms for many women, and you feel that you're constantly niggling. This is why we encourage so many of you to use a symptom tracker so you can um, actually keep a real clear report of what's going on, both physically, emotionally, and that whole journey of how your health is looking and feeling. All really important and it's all relative. So it's not your burden, you are not alone. It's not just for you as one female to deal with your menopause your menopause affects everybody in your world and beyond. It is your um, your your family, your older um, colleagues, every element of your life is being touched and affected. So it's not something to ignore. It's always something to embrace and take it back to it's part of the aging process for a female. So it's a natural thing that's happening, but she needs more support. So menopause does affect her. When we go back to the symptom web, remember how we can sort of start to bring this down. So give her some sunshine. Think about her working environment. Make sure she's getting that rest she needs. If you feel that there's something in this conversation, because remember we, we're here to do a light touch around menopause as well as a deeper dive. But this is just that reinforcement, that pushing out that message that you are really important to us. You are not alone. And when you start to understand that you are part of a bigger picture, then hopefully um, we can support you around your mental health as well. Okay, so that's me today, Helen Ty. Um, you can always contact us via info at iCareandMove.com. Always looking forward to conversations with you. And take it easy. Look after yourself and stay in touch. Thank you.